wonder that how important is education and have found the answer in the beautiful words of Nelson Mandela which states education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world let's get educated and spread this blessing as much as possible but do you know when does a force come into play let's try to understand it with a simple activity here we have a ball placed on the table will it move by itself of course not in order to move it we need to push it and similarly can i lift it without pulling it the answer is again no i need to pull it upwards to lift it when we push or lift the ball what does actually happen when we push or pull the ball then our hand is actually interacting with it so we find that a force comes into play only when at least two objects interact with each other and let's recall the activities we performed in our last video and see if we interact every time while kicking the ball a foot interacts with the ball while lifting the ball hand interacts with the ball while opening the door and shutting the door our hand interacts with the door knob and let's now explore some more daily life scenarios where interaction between the objects can be observed opening or shutting a drawer pulling a cart pushing a breakdown car etc all of them are examples of applying force and hence we can see the interaction between two objects recall what happens when the end of two magnets are brought close to each other unlike poles attract and like poles repel but the magnets are not in each other's direct contact then how do they interact yes it is their magnetic fields which interact the magnetic field is not visible but is present around the magnets and so we conclude that whether the two objects are in direct contact or not a force between them comes into play only when they interact with each other and now it's your turn observe the different parts of a crane like its wheels lever hook etc and note down which parts interact with whom or what and for now let's quickly sum up what we have learned today a force comes into play only when at least two objects interact with each other this interaction between the objects can either be direct or by without coming in direct contact and so far we have learned that force is a result of interaction between at least two objects and this force makes the objects at rest to move or brings moving objects to rest but does a moving object always comes to rest or an object at rest always starts moving on applying a force not always but why is it so we'll definitely learn about it in detail in our next video exploring forces until then Keep thinking and explore new ideas because Einstein once said that the mind that opens to a new idea never returns to its original size. And until then, keep learning and keep practicing. Take care. Bye bye.